Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky in a messy esque fashion. Uh, today, once again, this video is powered by my awesome sponsor over at Elgato. Um, so, as you can see me right now, this is what's known as green screen Lasty because, well, literally, I've got a gigantic green screen behind me that's lit up nicely with the key lights which can help remove the background and it immerses me into the video. Like I'm, I'm sort of in in and part of my squad right now. You know, I could sort of look up and, you know, probably Atal's right there or Donnarumma in there um, and his stats. So, if you are an aspiring content creator, uh, I genuinely, I love the green screen. I use it every single day um, and it is one of a plethora of amazing content creation tools that Elgato um have in their product lineup. So check down below in the description, link to my Elgato profile page, check it out. Thank you once again. Let's get stuck in to the episode. Um, I mean, yeah, if, if you want to do me a small favor at the start and smash the thumbs up, that'd be absolutely brilliant. It's something that I am actively looking for is to get some thumbs up on this video. That'd be brilliant. Um, rare mega pack for this uh, challenge SBC. Took me a while to get the squad together for it. Um, we get an 85, which, to be fair, in this economy, <laughs> uh, we'll take it, you know, it's normally, what is, what is an 85 now? 10, 12,000, something like that, usually. So I'll, I'll, I'll add that to the club uh, and, and use him in an SBC, no doubt about it. And then it was time to whip up 10 of these. Uh, one of three 78 plus player picks and... I quite like these, you know. Um, one of three is much, much better than one of two, obviously. Uh, and sometimes we get one of two 80 pluses. They're pretty good. But I like the extra. I actually prefer these, you know, the, the one of three 78 pluses. Because they still do throw out walkouts. I know you can have a little bit of a bad batch. Um, but look right here, you know, we just got 86 Thiago Silva, 84 Diaby, 84 Kessier. So, there's no real complaints there, you know. We're, we're, we're getting some high-rated pulls as well as, as you can see, you know, like the odd Martinelli. It's stuff that you don't really want. But um, at the end of the day, if you can pull a few 84s and above, you know, you're leaving a pack promo players in here. Um, there's no doubt about it. If you do enough, you're going to get some stuff. Um, ooh. Kind of rhymed. Love that. Uh, but yeah, that was my first 10. Um, there will be more of them once I get rewards and such. And I'm also thinking about maybe spending some money on on doing more of them because I do like them. I do find them quite fun. Uh, I got another three for you here because that was just what was left in the club and what I could, what I could make up. I could make some more. But um, I'd be putting 81s and 82s and stuff into it. And ideally, I'd probably just keep them for other SBCs. Because there's been some SBCs lately that have required like an 82 rated squad. And I don't want to throw them away into just one player pick, if you get me. Um, so I drastically changed the team, as you can see. John Stones, Dirk Cow, Chabby Alonso, Perlo, and Peter Crouch on loan all come into the starting eleven. For and in an attempt for me to have some fun, um, I did forget though that I'm in Division Two, uh, and that's that's uh, like me at the, the 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 peak of a mountain. I've reached the summit, you know. Like I'm, this is my level um, at its best, and most of the time, the people you face in this uh, in these sorts of divisions are very good compared to me. Um, but as you can see here, Crouch has a really good game. Now, I've wasted a few of his loan games. I think three or four of them I've just rage quit out early. That's my new technique in Rivals is I'm just quitting if I'm losing to some sweat. I can't be bothered to stay in. I'll get my eight wins, but I'll get it in a way that uh, in a game where I feel like I'm not going to, you know, if, if I'm down 2-0 really, really early on, I'm just going to move on um, and let them have their win because that's helpful to them as well as me and my uh, my mental state. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a five-star skiller, Peter Crouch, is obviously something to behold. He is six foot seven. Uh, I'm 4-2 up at half time. Have I got a hat-trick with him? Or I think at this point maybe I've got 
two goals with him. Uh, but then Crouchy can run through again. He's got the pace and he's got a hell of a shot on him, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, he can he can shoot that ball, absolutely can. Uh, and then Cancelo knocks one over. He just flicks one to the back post. Adama's there. All the sweat, all the super subs, all of that. We're 6-2 up here. Um, I nearly well, probably would have got a red card for that challenge if it had actually really stuck. Uh, but no, Haaland scored anyway. And then we could just rise higher than anyone else because we're Peter Crouch. Probably didn't even need to jump. And uh, sometimes you just find yourself scoring seven goals in one match. A hat-trick or even four goals with Peter Crouch just hitting the gritty, you know. It just sometimes it just happens. Most of the time I'm an LBRB skip replay, but sometimes with Peter Crouch, I don't have the, you know, the robot uh, celebration. So we have to go with, you have to go with what you've got, and uh, that is of course the gritty. Um, so there's a big dub. That's four out of eight wins. I think in between all of that, I lost quite a quite a lot. Um, but as you can see, XP been coming through, and we hit level thirty. Now, I briefly put this out on Twitter, uh, which one of these shall I get? And it seemed that the first bunch of answers were, uh, get the striker, get the striker, he looks better. And then the second wave of uh, 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 the second wave of, of answers on Twitter were, get whichever one you want, get Balogun, um, because it don't matter, he's fodder anyway. So I kind of agree with them, to be honest. Welcome to an 87-rated piece of fodder to the club. Uh, an Englishman playing in... Ligue 1, uh, I mean, to be fair, looks an all right card. Probably would be usable with the right chem style. Maybe uh, either a Hawk or a Finisher or a Marksman would do you just well uh, with, with, with a player like that. But uh, I think there's way better on the game, isn't there? So, yeah, we're, we're, we're using them as fodder. Um, as you can see, a few more games done on uh, on Lindstrom. And we finally finished Ravella. Um, we get an 83-plus rare goal player pack for our troubles. And we get an 88-rated Ravella, which makes all of the other versions of him. I can't remember if I've submitted any into SBCs yet. And it possibly even makes this one fodder for an SBC, if the right SBC comes around. Because it was a, it was a lot of games to get this player. Um, and this one actually does look pretty good. So maybe with a, what would you put on him? Maybe like an engine, and he'd be good in centre mid. I don't know if they up. Has this one got like four star skills? Have they upgraded his skills or anything? I don't think I uh, pressed the right stick in here to show you. So I need to have a little look in the club actually. Um, perhaps I can do that as we speak. I'll just turn my controller on. Console's right here. Ravella is there. What's he got then? He has got four star, four star, medium, medium work rates. 91 defensive awareness, 95. St He's really good as a defensive midfielder. 97 stam as well. Wow, I didn't realize. Actually a cool card. Yeah, maybe he doesn't go into an SBC just yet because that's pretty decent. Uh, maybe you get some game time. Um, so I get Luka Modric out of a one player pack. Pretty decent, can't complain. Uh, and then we get some more of... Lindstrom done. Uh, this man is taking forever. I'm actually, when when I go into some more rivals in a little bit, just to get up to my eight wins, uh, I actually ended up starting him in, in the starting squad on zero chem. Uh, and then, well, just removing him, just subbing him out literally at the start of every game because that is quicker than me playing a, like another nine squad battles games. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I think in the end... I'm just going to have a sip of drink. A little sip of uh, summer fruits squash in a smart water bottle. It's not a combo you see every day, but it's a tasty one. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I can't remember exactly what we were going on about. Oh, yeah, I, I end up just sticking um, Lindstrom into the starting squad, bringing him off straight away. And then if we get a win in Rivals or it's a game that I play out and I don't quit, then it's another one on, onto the list for, for unlocking the, the best version of Lindstrom. If not, uh, I'll end up having just a few games of squad battles to play, not like nine or ten, which is obviously a, an annoying amount to have to play just when there's no other real objectives out for me to do at the moment. I've done them all. Um, decided to put... I realised I had an absolute plethora of 82s and 83s. So I put them into Bergwijk. 
Berghaus, I think is how you actually pronounce it. But uh, for an 88 rated, yeah, 82 and 83, something for me to actually use those rated players on, uh, I'll absolutely go ahead and unlock him because he'll be prime fodder. I don't find myself wanting to use him um, and he will certainly go into an SBC really nicely. And uh, yeah, it will be, be helpful for the requirements. And actually from the packs from him, we end up making like, I don't know. We add a few players to the club. We get a Ramos, that's 4,000 coins. Get a Henderson here, I believe, which is 2,000 coins. Uh, you know, make a good 6K. Not bad. <laughs> and uh, and a few players and a few discard values. Probably made about 10K um, in value there, which, you know, considering we put nothing into it, just boosts and bolsters that coin balance a touch. We're up to 374,000 coins. Um... <laughs> So this is the starting squad that I'm now going to go with. I realized PLO, rubbish. Uh, I needed Turam in the midfield if I was going to try and use like Dirk Kaut uh, because, well, Turam's OP. Um, then I brought Zizou back because I just really like him. <laughs> Obviously, he's my favorite player of all time. Um, so actually, in this game right here, I bring Eto on and I do every single game actually for, for Lindstrom. Uh, and we are, I think the only games we're going to show you here are just the ones that I get the win. So we need four more wins. Um, so we'll get them right here. Uh, there were quite a few losses in between that actually. I definitely didn't have a great run uh, on Rivals this week. Uh, but it doesn't matter because actually I just needed to get my eight wins. It takes me over 50 games played for the season. So we've got a week left of that, haven't we? You know, it's Rivals Rewards Day today. Um, I'll get my weekly rewards and I'll show you them in tomorrow's video. Probably I might even do live last year again. Um, and then from there, we just, we'll just either go for our eight wins or we won't because we've got the milestones. Uh, and I don't really want to progress anywhere near Division 1 really because we're not going to hit 90 games. We've got a week left. Um, I want to get demoted down to Division 4 again and then uh, keep it quiet for a couple of weeks so we don't get promoted and, and have the slightly easier games back again because I tell you what, it's not so enjoyable. It's not so enjoyable when it, when you're sweating it out in Rivals, I'll tell you that for free. And I'm sure you guys all know that as well. Uh, this game right here, I was surprised to come away with a very quick 2-0 win because he had like... Team of the Year, Benzema and all sorts. Just a nice squad in general. Uh, this is a very nice squad as well. Um, Fabian is someone that I am keeping an eye on his price uh, because obviously PSG tend to do pretty well. And naturally, I think by the time you're watching this, you'll know the result of whatever their their Champions League game was. Um, I'm about to... I'll watch that later on um, if I've got my days right and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in the, in terms of like league and stuff, when the when the... Fantasy fuck cards actually, when those matches actually come into play, typically French League on PSG do well. So I'm expecting that that Fabian could probably get up to like a 91 or something. Uh, and if so, might be a really, really good card for a perfect link to Ramos. Um, we'll keep an eye on him. But I do have a lot of midfielders. Yeah, I'm sat here in, um, and actually I put a tweet out earlier. Uh, so I'm sat here with a, a bench of Turam, Ravella, Kaut, Pogba, Pielo, Chabi Alonso, and Zidane. And I need to choose three of them for... The, there's only three spots in my 4 3 2 one for, for the centre midfielders, right? Um, so that's quite a lot of choice when they're all pretty good. I guess Pielo gets nowhere near the start in Levin just because he actually I've tried him and he's rubbish. Don't really like him. Doesn't suit my play at all. Um, Pogba, every time I use him, I love him more and more. He's great. Turam feel the same way. Dirk Kaut, I'm a little bit like, eh, on the edge of. Probably might end up putting him in an SPC, but he's quite valuable. But hey, maybe the value of those World Cup ones drop a bit when there's more um, fantasy fuck heroes out. Probably tomorrow night with a... Is it going to be a week two of the promo? I guess so, right? Uh, I tend to not follow the leakers, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, I like the surprise. But yeah, if there is, then maybe, maybe Dirk Kaut gets a fantasy foot hero and it could be even better um and maybe that one then drops in value and it becomes fodder for me who knows but we've got i think there's four more games on lindstrom which i could just do in squad battles i'll do them tonight no problem whilst i'm watching some champions league or something uh and yeah i mean drogba's goal to game ratio is fast approaching one to one 
and he's got like 100 assists as well. So he is still, I keep telling you all, one of the best strikers on this game. The World Cup one specifically. I don't care if you had the prime and you ended up putting him in an SBC because you didn't like him. It is the World Cup one. He's the man. He really is. Four-star skill, five-star weak foot, and all of those stats. He is just the man. He plays. He outplays his stats for sure. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor. Smash the thumbs up button. would absolutely love to see 2,000 likes. Subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Cheers. And follow me on social media. The links can be found down below. Have a great day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll be back again tomorrow. Catch you then. Peace.